We're rolling. All right, so this is the family greenhouse. We have our first stages finally done. It's been about an intensive two to three weeks worth of work. So let's take you inside. We still have a lot of room, but we got the major two growing beds, three growing beds and the aeroponic system in place. So we'll take a look here. All right, now that's all cleaned up, you can see the the fish tank here. This will be for the tilapia. It's 275 gallons. Got a control center here with timers. And then we've got 375 gallon ebb and flow grow beds. As you can see, the auto siphons are here. They've been tested, they work well. We have our regulation valves on, on each run, three quarter inch, main line one inch. All of the one inch coming out of the water tank is above the water surface level. So if there's an emergency, we still have uh, all of the um, fish water in there. Plus there is an emergency stop for the water right about 100 gallons. It's a bucket that is 12 inches deep. That's where the pump sits. So if the pump went crazy, we had a leak out here and we would not lose all the fish. Okay, we have heat regulation, air regulation in there. This right here is a 40 watt Sunleaves 200 CFM fan that goes into the heat sink. We'll demonstrate that now. You can hear it starting to roll. And you can see that's the air ducting where it'll suck in. Let's see if I can demonstrate with a little bit of vapor here. Maybe you can see the vapor getting sucked into the system. Okay, that comes over here, sucked through at 200 cubic feet a minute. It comes out these louvers here. And you probably can't see, but there's plenty of wind here. This goes down about four feet, fully insulated R28. And it's got over 100, uh, I think over 100 water balls, maybe around 100 and. 30, not really sure, but as you can see, here's the wind. I'll put a little vapor over there. So, that, uh, that definitely will capture our heat uh, during the winter at the top of the greenhouse. Throw it into that water, and uh, it'll also capture um, the cool air at night in the summer and help keep the greenhouse cool. And this just keeps crap out of there and of course it's leaving so it works really well. Over on this side is an independent uh, aeroponics slash hydroponics unit because I got the hydroponic strawberry towers over here and uh, it dumps into this, uh, it's actually a 50 gallon tank right here. I'm hoping to convert to aquaponics and maybe grow some crawdads in this unit here. Uh, we'll see. So just three inch, these are four inch PVC beans and we'll get that rolling with some spices over here some strawberries lettuces maybe some bean poles even some pepper plants would do well in this environment here so we still have a lot of room for uh, grow pots I'd like to do some auto pots some trees avocado trees maybe a banana tree or mango some things like that and we still have all this room with which to grow in here so starting to look up we have the uh, 600 watt solar panels out there and we'll end up adding the battery pack to it. And uh, we'll supply the greenhouse entirely off-grid. So that's it for the family greenhouse. Thanks for watching.